Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in, grab a beverage. We're going to relax and do some fun creating tonight. It is uh, Saturday, March 18th. I was live earlier today for our fun monthly crafter noon event. Every month I design a fun fold card, a unique fun fold card. Um, and those people who placed a qualifying order with me last month got a packet in the mail to make it along with me in this video. I would love to have you join us for next month's crafter noon. Just place your order in my online store for $50 dollars before tax and shipping. Unfortunately, I can only take orders from the U.S. and uh, you will get a packet in the mail for next month's uh, featured fun fold. So I'm going to show you what we made and we're going to do a quick and easy card today with some brand new dies called the Radiating Stitches dies. So let's dive right in. We're going to get this party started and um, let's see. I'm going to flip the camera here. Oh, I should tell you that if you want to subscribe, so the, the Crafter Noon tutorial is available, but the blog post will be going up tomorrow. If you want to get notification when the blog post with all the pretty pictures of the cards goes up, you can subscribe um, at suestampfield.com. You can also subscribe to my free project sheet emails if you are not already getting those. I like to drop some creative inspiration right in your inbox um, every you know, two, three times a month. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'm going to move that so I don't forget to take it down because I'm really good at that. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Um, okay, here we go. Ooh, yay. Radiating stitches dies. Got things poking in. I got a messy desk. What can I say? So these are part of the online exclusive. So you can go to this my online store and you can um, just click on the graphic that's, that says um, online exclusives. Or um, you can uh, just enter in this item number 161595 if you decide to get these. Um, so these are what the radiating stitches dies look like. So it's three nesting frames. Um, the the outside one is quite wide and then there's two others and then or I should say three nesting rectangles they're not frames they are they are make a solid rectangle and then this adorable stitched heart um, a little fun stitch circle that has kind of like a flower image in it and then a wider stitch circle so we're going to go ahead and bring in our die cutting machine let me grab some cardstock gosh that would be helpful sue um <laughs> I'm going to grab, just grabbing stuff here, a paper trimmer, and we're going to cut a, let's just cut a piece that's five and a half by four and a quarter. Pretty sure this piece is five and a half. Yep, it is. All right. So we're going to cut, um, and we are going to make a frame. So these dies work great for making frames. I was playing around with it a little bit before I jumped on here to go live. Things are falling, you guys. Oh my gosh. So um, so earlier today, I, I shared um, our Creative Fun Fold and I used these dies for one of our projects. So I'm getting ahead of myself here. This is one of the cards that I shared today. This is called, I call this, the Flying Finch Fun Fold card. It's a little bit of a take on the Flying Seagull card that we did last month. Um, just a different shape, um, different decoration on the front. The flying seagull is perfect for a four by four a square decoration. Um, sometimes square doesn't always work with every design. So this one works really great with three by three papers. I'm digging to find my, oh my gosh, you guys, so messy here. So messy. Here they are. So let's take a look at the seagull cards here. So here's the seagull fun fold. So this front part is a four by four. And it folds out like that. But square doesn't always work with every card design, right? So I thought it would be fun to do another flying bird card. And I'm calling this one the flying finch. There's no finch on it. It's just that it looks like a bird right here. Now this one's got a little something, something on the back. This one is a, um, now it could just be a bird, an Easter card. And these are these, um, these frames right here. Uh, or I should say these rectangles, these radiating stitches rectangles, I used that for the bunny uh, to layer on the front of my card. They were perfect for this design. 
And then this one, you could just do it as a card. I decided to make it um, uh, an Easter uh, money holder. So on the back, I just have a band of uh, designer series paper and you just slide your money. You could put some on each side actually, if you wanted to. Um, so that was the, so we're gonna play with these fun dies tonight. Really quickly, um, I will show you the rest of the Flying Finch cards. We had this gorgeous one. Now this is gonna, we're gonna do something. I love this set. <laughs> this is the two-tone floral set, two-tone flora and the um, fancy flora paper. We're gonna use that tonight with these frames and we're gonna see what we come up with here. Um, the painted textures embossing folder is perfect with this. And then this is the one that the, um, the people that uh, placed an order last month, they got this packet in the mail and made this one along with me on the video today. So cute. And you can just sign it right on the inside there. So we have that one. And then this one is the one my team members made. My direct level team members got this packet in the mail to make this one. So again, there's our little flying finch. And then this one. This one is the Around the Bend dies. It's a bundle, actually. That's where the greeting came from. It has these cool um, leaf dies in it, and then these uh, curved dies, like this uh, big one that I used for the background here. So that's a quick little recap. This is the brushstroke specialty paper. So cool. All right, so we're going to use these. Let's bring in our die cutting machine. And... And I'm going to pop this right in here. There we go. And I'm going to take the really big frame from these dies. You can see it almost fits. It's almost, it's a little bit smaller than a card front size, which here in the U.S. is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to put the middle um, rectangle inside of it. This is how I'm going to make a frame. And then I'm going to stick that down with a post-it note. Okay. Because I don't want it to shift on me. So I'm just trying to get it. I just want this inside die to be pretty much centered. I think that's right. And, oh, we have no top plate. Oh, my goodness. All right. Take a sip, everyone. <laughs> I lost my first thing. I don't know where it is, but here, I'll grab another one. Maybe I didn't even bring it over. That's certainly possible. All right, I got to get things out of the way so I can crank through here. So we're just going to send that through. Our die cutting machine like so. And there we have our, our frame. Isn't that cool? And then we get a bonus. <laughs> we have this uh, rectangle with the stitch detail on it that we can use um, perhaps on the inside of our card. Let's grab a piece of balmy blue here. Come here, balmy blue. So a piece of balmy blue, it's five and a half by four, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm gonna just fold it in half here. Don't even have it scored my bone folder to get a good crease there and then I have a piece of that fabulous <laughs> fancy flora designer series paper this is cut to four and a quarter by three so you can get the two of these out of each sheet and I'm just going to stick that in the middle of my card here just like so. And then I'm going to put the frame over it and I'm going to pop the frame up. It's like I'm, fr I'm making art here, guys. I'm making my own artwork. Um, I should let you know, by the way, <laughs> um, I am pre-recording this video. Um, we are heading out to dinner tonight, literally in a few minutes. That's why I'm kind of rushing a bit. Um, our reservation is at 7.45 and we're supposed to leave here in four minutes, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, my birthday is on Monday and so we are going out to eat tonight. Um, so that should be really fun. 
Um, you know what? I want more. I want more dimensionals. Am I stressing you guys out that I'm... Um, <laughs> I only have four minutes here. I'm stressing me out. That's for sure. All right. It's going to be more than four minutes. It just is what it is, right? It's just whatever. Restaurant's not going anywhere. All right. <laughs> We're pulling off all... Oh, oh, my goodness. I got carried away, didn't I? <gasps> I love dimensionals. Can you tell? You also could adhere it flat, but I kind of like that dimension makes it look a little more frame alike. Shout out to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh, who's hanging out in the comments here, posting uh, page numbers and item numbers and all those uh, helpful things. Thank you so much, Jennifer. We appreciate you. I know everybody appreciates all that you do. So there we have, so you can see that little bit of shadow there on our frame. It's almost straight, Sue. <clears throat> Hang on. That's going to bug me, you guys. I got to get a little bit straighter than that. Holy cow. I'm going to, once again, I'm <laughs> going to blame the camera. Ah. Like, normally, I stand when I, um, when I stamp. And I'm doing that right now. I'm standing. But I'm not standing right over it because the camera is right over it. My eyesight is horrible, you guys. It's just horrible. So when I'm a little bit off, I get a little bit off. That looks better. All right, I can live with that. Okay, excellent. <laughs> now we could even just take this. And you see that come out, came out of the middle. And I'm thinking we put that on the inside, right? The other thing that we can do here is let me just show you what this one looks like. If you cut this one. Um, you could put it right here and put it just a big greeting right there and just have that pretty paper be a, a nice background for you. Um, so many options here. Um, I want to do some quick flowers. <gasps> can we do that? Of course. I had these all mounted and I was cleaning up for craft noon and I put them all away. What the heck? Who even am I? Who even am I to put things away? All right. I'm going to grab my stamp set here. And we're going to just do some quickie stamping. I'm going to grab a grid paper because I'm going to be stamping some of these off here. All right, Sue, now don't get too carried away because you're kind of late. So I'm going to take this flower, pop it on a block, and I'm going to grab my Orchid Oasis ink pad. And I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to grab, oh, let's do this little guy. Can I fit that on a little baby block? Oh, sure I can. Stamp that one in Orchid Oasis. Oh, and let's do one more. Um, now, you can see these do not look like flowers <laughs> at all. You're like, what are you doing, Sue? These are ugly. These are the detailed part of the flowers. Because I have poor eyesight, it works for me so much better, so much better for, to line these up. Sorry, I got a little blob on there. It's okay. We don't need that part. If I stamp the detail first and then put the solid part over it. So let's see if we can line up the right solid part here. Okay, that one goes on that. Let's grab a block here. I'm going to ink this up in the Orchid Oasis. But this is the same color as the detail, and I want it lighter, so I'm going to stamp it on a scrap paper. And now I'm going to stamp it right over that detail part of the flower. Just going to turn it until it looks like it's pretty well lined up. Stamp it down. So now I have, oh, sorry, it's off camera. That's, that's not going quite so far, Sue. So I've got this um, stamped. Now let's do this one right here. Um, where is that one at? this one right here. Again, I'm going to stamp this in Orchid Oasis. I'm going to stamp it on a scrap paper once and twice. I want this one to be a really pale lavender. I'm going to hover it over that detail. I think the reason I like it this way is I can see the detail better because it's darker than I can if I did the um, the solid first. So I'm going to put this little um, 
little cluster of flowers. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to grab a different ink color. I'm going to grab the balmy blue. And we're going to ink up the flowers in balmy blue. And I'm going to stamp them on my scrap paper. Oopsie. <laughs> Um, I actually prefer to stamp it on just like typing white paper or a grid paper like I've got here instead of cardstock. Cardstock takes off a little too much ink in my opinion. And then I'm just lining up the center circles on these um, solid flowers with the circles on the uh, detail. And we're going to close that up and then really quick, like really quick because we were supposed to leave three minutes ago. I'm going to stamp the leaves. Let's grab some leaves here. And can those fit on a little block? Oh, perfect. And I'm going to take soft succulent and stamp some leaves. Ooh, that was not very good stamping. That's okay. I got plenty of room. Let's try it again. Meh. I need to re-ink my soft succulent pad. Um, this one is, uh, as far as we know, about to retire. It's an in color. Oh, I finally got, third third time was the charm. I got one I'm happy with. So let's bring in our die cutting machine and we're going to quickly finish our card. So <laughs> I'm laughing because I have now made the mess of my space. What a surprise, right? All right. So I've got my flowers here. I'm going to grab the matching. Um, two, this is called the two-tone flora. You can see where the two-tone comes in. Um, I'm going to match the two-tone flora dies up with the coordinating images here. Where's this one? Here it is right here. And we need the leaf. And I'm going to attempt to cut all of these at the same time. So I'm going to be sticking them down with a post-it note. I'm only cutting out the good ones, not the boo-boos. <laughs> all right, we're going to stick this guy down. And then, oh, let me find the magic. Let me find the sweet spot. Where is it? I usually, I never have this much trouble lining it up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I stopped. I, I'm rushing. <gasps> I'm panicking now. Okay. All right. Deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> Crafting is supposed to be relaxing, right? And it normally is, but not when your husband and son are going, um, we're supposed to leave like now. All right. Eck. All right, I think we're all set, friends. Let's send this baby through and finish up our card. Send it through the die cutting machine here. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Let's look at our pretty bouquet. Didn't look so pretty with all of those boo-boos, but we're going to, nobody's ever going to see that part, right? They only see what we want them to see. All right. How did I lose a leaf already? Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Seriously. <laughs> I crack myself up. Honestly, how did I lose? Oh, found it. <laughs> Did you guys see that when I pulled that away that it was stuck on there? Oh my goodness. All right. Take a sip, friends. I've got water in my cup right now. Hmm. I better have something stronger when I go to the restaurant. <laughs> All right. Let's bring in our beautiful frame here. And what I'm envisioning is clustering the flowers on one corner of the frame so that you see this pretty background. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals here. And we're going to build us build ourselves a beautiful bouquet. So I'm just going to pop a dimensional on the back of the bigger flower. Have that kind of coming in right like that. Let's see. Um, I really loved how the uh, Crafter Noon Flying Finch card came out. So I'm going to use that for inspiration here and uh, kind of put the flowers in similar. Similarly, these are... Um, 
very similar colors to what I did. You know what? I think I want a mini on this one. There's a mini dimensional because I really want it down in the down in the hole there. <laughs> so I'm going to stick the the um, dimensional there. Let's see. I'm going to put my flower this way right here. And then this one I think could be coming back right in there. Isn't that cute? That one could have a big one on it. There we go. And <laughs> let's see. I think we'll tuck it right under there. And then we're going to add our, our uh, leaf. Eh, not sure about that. Not sure about that. Come here, you. Come on off of there. I'm going to adjust that one a, a skosh. Um, oh, I think I like that better. Just a little bit longer coming out into the into the frame. We'll do that. And then the leaves could really go anywhere. I'm going to just pop them right in here. Or maybe right over here. I think right over there. I might add another leaf later. Let's go ahead and pop on some embellishments. Sorry, I'm stepping away from the microphone again. I'm just going to put, I love to put some little iridescent rhinestones right in the center of these little flowers. And there we have our card. Now we can put a sentiment here. Um, we also have, where'd it go? We've got our leftover piece that we die cut from the middle of our frame that can go on the inside with our message. Super cute. We can even put a strip of the DSP on the inside if we want. So many options. I'm going to finish this card off and I will be posting it on my C Stanfield Instagram uh, channel uh, tomorrow morning and also over in my um, Sue Stanfield Facebook group. So would love to have you join us there. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me. These are really fun. Um, we'll have to play with the heart next time because the heart is so adorable. I'm, I have one floating around here somewhere, but oh gosh, who knows where it went? Who knows where it went? Um, so quick reminder, the, um, yay, there's our card. <laughs> so quick reminder that the um, Flying Finch uh, Fun Fold tutorial is now available to purchase on, on my website, suestampfield.com. Let me flip the camera around here. Where's the camera? There it is. Yay. So uh, you can check out the Flying Finch Fun Fold tutorial. It's on my blog. Go to suestampfield.com. The blog post isn't up yet, but it is in the tutorials for sales section, along with photos of all of the cards. So you can check it out there. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Cheers, everyone. We didn't lose a whole lot tonight, but <laughs> we'll have one more sip and I'm going to head out. Uh, oh, gosh, only 10 minutes late. Oops. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.